Hello, mate. Hello. How are you? I think I'm getting a feeling of deja vu. Yeah, me too. <laughs> So our third and final epic journey. Where are yes. we off to? We are going to the Fat Duck in Bray. <gasps> no way! Yeah, and it's the three Michelin star <gasps> restaurant that's owned by Hester Blumenthal. We're in an Audi. I thought we'd go for something a bit different, something a bit sleeker, something where you can stretch your legs out, yeah. relax and enjoy the journey to Bray. We are in the brand new A7 Sportback 50 TDI Quattro which I think is the kind of epitome at the moment of contemporary luxury. We're running the Michelin Pilot Sport tyres, technology that they've developed over the years of providing tyres in the World Endurance Championship and Formula E. The handling around the corners, it's definitely improved thanks to the grip level. It's 282 brake horsepower, so not necessarily the most powerful car in the world, but for motorway driving, I think it does the job. Perfect, I would say, for a long drive to Bray, for a tasty little lunch. Yeah, tasty little <laughs> lunch at a three-star restaurant. Guide itself is renowned throughout the world, and it doesn't matter whether it's a three-star restaurant in the UK, America, Japan, they're all of the same quality. What do the inspectors look for when they're deciding whether to give out a Michelin star? The quality of produce has always got to be there. Value for money, consistency over a period of time. What I love is the story behind the Michelin stars, like how it all came about. The reason it started was to encourage people to actually drive further, and of course the further you drive, the more mileage you clock up, the more tyres you need. I mean, obviously, the Fat Duck is was probably one of the most famous restaurants in the world. He didn't train as a chef. He had a huge interest in food and a massive love and an interest in science. That ability to be able to take what essentially is a great meal, not just trudging through the same old routine, but using technology and science to, to drive things forward. Well, here we are. Okay, so this is Bray. Hello, Nikki. Hi, Dimitri. Hello, Tom. Welcome. Yeah. Please come in. Thank you. Good to have you. So this is your itinerary for your journey today. Shall I tell you what's in our first drink? Yes, please. <laughs> I feel a little bit like Sherlock Holmes. So my name's Ellen. I'm going to prepare for you a little cocktail just to start things off. It will be to eat, not to drink. And then just very gently take it with your fingers. Quite cold, oh, but God. it melts very quickly. Uh -huh. All in one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not cold. That's incredible. So we have here a tonic of botanicals. Jerusalem artichoke ice cream and toasted cumin panna cotta. Wow, look at that. That is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, what have we got here? Setting the scene for the next chapter. You're going for a walk in the woods. How magical is this? Sharpness and sweetness mm -hmm. mixed together. Exactly. Dessert. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I'm intrigued to know whether this is going to be a gel or if it's going to explode in my mouth. There's only one way of finding mm -hmm. out, mate. This magical sweet shop has been specially designed just for the fat dog. <laughs> There's more. So we take your penny, we're going to put it into the sweet shop, and we're going to find a drawer of sweets for you. <laughs> You've got to be joking. Right, I'm out of here. <laughs> what a journey. What a way to end.